It was one of the Bay Area's darkest days, May 9th, 1980, the day the Sunshine Skyway Bridge was struck by a freighter and came crashing down into the bay below, killing 35 people. Now, four decades later, a documentary is out on Amazon, produced by well-known local defense attorney Steve Yarrett, who represented the man piloting the freighter. Eight on your side's Melanie Michael is joining us live near the Skyway tonight with that story. Mel. Hey guys, good evening to you both. It's hard to believe that Saturday marks 40 years since that fateful day. And Steve Yarrett tells us there's a message in this documentary for all of us that life can change in an instant. And indeed, it is quite precious. Steve Yarrett describes May 9th, 1980, as a day too painful to remember, but impossible to forget. A Friday that started off like any other, but one that ended in tragedy, loss, and heartache beyond words. I'm so emotional because, well, I guess I haven't tried. I tried not to think about it for 20 years. Now 30, 40. Steve tells Eight on Your Side the Skyway Bridge disaster is a story that needs to be told. And four decades later, the deeply emotional details and stark images are part of an Amazon documentary. I'm so proud of the story because if, nothing, if, if it does nothing more than preserve all the Tampa memories in the archives of things we shouldn't have done, you know, it, it cost 35 lives to get decent, good bridges built all around the world. For Steve, the idea of producing a documentary was not a new concept. In fact, he's been approached countless times in the last 40 years with countless requests to do just that. Share the story where 35 people lost their lives when the Skyway Bridge collapsed at 734 that morning when it was struck by a freighter. Seconds can change lifetimes, and we've seen it. It has. Steve tells us despite all the requests to produce a documentary, the timing was never quite right. He knew, though, one day it would be. After all, Steve Yarrett had perhaps the most unique perspective. He was in the middle of it all as the attorney representing John Laro, the man piloting the freighter, a man who, despite his acquittal, would carry guilt for the rest of his life. What this film does, it highlights the truth, the necessity to have courage, to have hope when others have lost it, to believe in yourself. And Steve says this documentary is dedicated to those who lost their lives that day. It is by Floridians for Floridians. I'm Melanie Michael, live tonight, eight on your side.